Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So my project for today is this shabby chic mixed media canvas that I've created for you all. I just love it. The paper that I used is, and it's the love story from Prima. I actually took out a sheet out of each of this, um, each of the designs that they had available and I pretty much used all of it. Um, little scraps here, little scraps there. So what I did is that uh, this canvas measures six by eight and I had picked up this canvas over at the Dollar Tree and I, and I just went ahead and I decoupage using Mod Podge this section right here because there's two sections. So what I did is I tore the paper diagonal so I could show this piece right here because I love the print of the florals. Then um, I went ahead and I distressed the edges with my scissors all the way around on the paper. So you see a lot of distressing, a lot of distressing. And I went ahead, before I applied this second layer of paper, I added this beautiful trim. It's from Hobby Lobby. It's just gorgeous. I love it. So I just went ahead and put a diagonal as well. And you can see a portion of it right here. I just love how that looks. And on the paper, I went ahead and I added some stickles on the flowers. And I just love this dress form print. So I wanted this to show and I wanted this to show right here. And this little, the little girls playing with the little birdies in the cage, it's actually a print that comes with the paper collection. Absolutely beautiful. We do have two little parakeets here. So when I saw this, it just reminded me so much of my little granddaughter because she likes to go over to the little birdies and start singing to them, pio pio. <laughs> she sounds so cute. She just loves to be around the birds. So I went ahead and I did some mixed media and I cut out some different sheets of the paper I uh, distressed it around the edges, so there's some distressing right here. This is a different sheet as well, just some distressing, and I distressed this around here. I added some chipboard underneath to give to lift them up. Um, then I went ahead and I added this beautiful trim. Uh, this was actually from a kit that I had purchased from D Store, who is uh, Elegant Embellishments here on YouTube. Hi, D. And also um, this trim right here comes from comes in the same kit as well and it looks like this absolutely beautiful I just love it so um, it goes all the way down so you can see it right here see it goes all the way down and then this I goes all the way down as well but I pretty much covered it with the rest of the uh, embellishments on top back here I did a little bit of mixed media I used um, this uh, how do you call it? This stencil. And it's from Prima, this doily stencil. So I actually used this stencil and I also used the modeling paste from Prima. It looks like this. It's really good and it dries really nice. So I went ahead and it, when you apply it, you apply it. It's, it applies so smooth and I just love it. So it's all the way around this edge right here, but it's pretty much covered. So you see a little bit peeking through right here. Then underneath, on top of it, is a doily. Looks like this was gifted to me. I just don't remember by who. Thank you so much, whoever gifted this to me. Thank you so much. I went ahead and used it. So I actually trimmed half of it and I tucked it underneath um, here. And, uh, and then on top, I just added another sheet of paper after distressing it. Then I went ahead and I layered um, this image on top, but there's chipboard underneath to make it thick. Then I like this, what it says, La Nouveau, Nouvelle Mode, I believe that's how you pronounce it, not sure. But I went ahead and distressed the title as well, all the way around with, um, with my scissors. And I just love how that looks. Then underneath here, there are two little roses. And actually, it's this trim that I had a long time ago over at Joann's. And it looks like this. I just love it. So what I did is I cut two pieces out and I just layered one top of the other and then on the middle of each flower there is this bling and I used I used all the bling pieces from this trim right here it's pearl and bling and it alternates my favorite trim so I just used up all only the bling one only the bling pieces is what I used I took on on top of this trim right here and on top of the little flowers but you really can't tell because I kind of um covered it when I was distressing it with um, with this snow text. 
that's what I used and a uh, toothbrush and I just went all the way around um, so and then here is this beautiful trim and I just grabbed little pieces here and there and it's from Michaels and this is long time ago this is like from 2010 and it was a long strip like this and these are the only two pieces I have left love this trim I wish I would have picked up more when they had it but um, so yes and I use sparingly so I just put it there and it has the blink pieces this embellishment right here is from our most our last swap that both I and Anna who are Serenity Creations here on YouTube did hi Anna and um, I just love this piece I just didn't want to put too much on it and this was like the perfect piece right there because it also had a little bird on top with some flowers and then all I did was add just a little piece of bling right here and I just love that then uh, here is a little applique it's in pink it's absolutely beautiful and what I did is it comes from this trim that I have purchased from D as well it looks like this this beautiful trim so what I did I just cut off one one little uh, applique and then I trimmed it so here's the flower part and these are just the little sprays sticking out and I just love that so I just tucked it underneath absolutely beautiful I just love how this looks so I didn't do anything around the edges um, but I did cover it with book covers and this is uh this is bling on top it has bling on top I just love it silver in color and I just love it it's so beautiful I did because the canvas is a little thick I did have to use my pliers to straighten out the, the corners and it fit perfectly it fit perfectly on the canvas I just love it just to give it that more bling touch because I saw a lot of bling on this side so I'm like it needed some bling on this side and then by adding the stickles on top it just get, gave it that extra touch so I just love 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 how it looks absolutely beautiful I hope you guys enjoyed this project I had so much fun creating this project for thank you so much for uh, passing by and commenting and watching my video I greatly appreciate it this and I'll see you next time bye